Hi everybody, welcome to Creative Courage Lab Day 22. I'm going to set my timer right now. So today our prompt was Hive or Creation Hive. And I felt like I instead wanted to say community um, for my, my page. It's the same concept. Someone who, a group that works together and strives together and helps each other, supports each other. That sort of thing so I am um, yes that's what I want to talk about and then I also decided that I would experiment a little today um, I this is an acrylic ink and you know I've been playing around with these a little okay and I want to see how they react with alcohol inks so I know that these react nicely with alcohol they make these nice ring effects that you, you can achieve by um, doing that. They're good consistency for using with alcohol. In fact, I'll just show you really quick how that works with alcohol. I'll tell you my story in a minute. Um, okay, so this is 90% isopropyl alcohol. And if I drop it on there, I think you can see these rings. I'm going to lift it up to the camera. So you see the ring that the alcohol made with these inks. These inks are great to use with alcohol to get these nice texture effects. So I was curious as to how they would work with alcohol inks. So I chose a turquoise, which was called mermaid, indigo, and watermelon to be my colors and I'm just going to drip these on there and see what happens. Oh. I just intended to put one drip. It's kind of spreading out of me. That's an interesting effect. It didn't just make a ring. It didn't spread out like usual. These mix, this green did. This um, mermaid did. The indigo is a thicker, darker, more opaque ink, if I can say that. And it didn't react hardly at all. And then this is watermelon. Okay, so I was thinking about community. And, and where would I be if I hadn't joined the Creative Sandbox community? I've been part following this for a long time. Um, probably, I don't know, maybe four years, three, four years, something like that. I found her through Jennifer Lee and one of her workshops and, um, online workshops and just kind of fell in love with Melissa's playful spirit. And, um, so I've been following her for a long time and I just wanted to see, um, Sorry, I'm distracted by the inks. Uh, so back in the fall, I decided to join the Creative Sandbox. And there's a, a specific Facebook group and it's for experimenting and learning things. And um, I can honestly say I would not be doing these videos if I had not become part of that group. And the reason I can say that is because I actually bought my camera and set it all up in May. Uh, or maybe April or May of 2015. So I've had this set up for a while, but I didn't do anything with it. I was afraid. I, I was afraid, I don't know, of failing maybe. I was afraid of what people would say. Uh, people wouldn't like it. I don't know. But somehow being part of this group, and, and the encouragement from the group has really motivated me to um, start making these videos. And before I was doing the sandbox videos, I was doing the, um, I did a couple of other experimental videos in the group. And it was a safe environment. I felt comfortable sharing, even if it was bad. <laughs> and believe me, some of it's been bad. But I, I was able to share anyway. And so I, I can honestly say that this 
this Creative Sandbox group has been just a major help to me and in, in, in a place where I can share my ideas and experiment and now I'm putting my videos on YouTube good the good the bad and the ugly so to speak and it's because I was in that group and I was able to get some feedback I was able to get some help and m mostly I was able to just practice sharing and I think that been, been a huge thing for me is just to have a place to practice, to have a place to bounce ideas uh, off of and um, so that's been really instrumental I think and helpful to me. So I highly recommend being part of a community and in, if it's online or if it's local and I can't recommend Melissa's programs enough. Melissa's been such a help to me. Um, she's so involved with the group. I've, I've been in other groups before and I've never had a leader who was so involved and always trying to be the most encouragement she possibly could be. And so I just would highly, sorry my phone is, is going off, but I just highly recommend being part of a community and getting involved in some way whether it's with Melissa's group or some other place where you fit in some place where you can safely share your art where you can experiment where you can be like Miss Frizzle make messes and, and uh, just see what happens so this is an interesting effect during this alcohol ink plus the acrylic ink it does not act like alcohol at all which I thought I might get the rings that you get from alcohol should I one more time you might be able to see better now the rings you get from alcohol they push the acrylic paint away so like this is caused by alcohol and this is are the alcohol piece it's not the same at all so, that's good to know, and it was a fun experiment, so thank you so much for joining me for Creative Courage Lab Day 22, and I will see you tomorrow for Day 23. Bye-bye. You may have to edit up the door. <laughs>